One of the reasons that people wear masks is they think that it's going to protect them from virus. But the virus isn't floating around in the air, so it's not protecting me against anything because it's not there. It's probably going to be on my hand because I've shaken hands with someone who's got the virus and I have transmitted it. I have carried the virus to my face. If you're in an environment where everybody else is wearing a face mask and, and you're not, then it may make you feel vulnerable because you feel like you don't have the protection everyone else does. But logically, if you're not close to people, they're not coughing and sneezing on you, then a face mask isn't necessary. The virus enters the body through mucous membranes. We mean the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and it transmits from person to person, generally by us touching our eyes, nose or mouth, or if we're inhaling droplets directly from someone who is sneezing or coughing. The best way for the general public to protect itself against coronavirus and other respiratory viruses is really careful hand hygiene, so that's really washing your hands with either soap and water or alcohol gel if soap and water is not available, especially when you think that you've been exposed, so if you've been out in public places and touching kind of surfaces that other people might have touched. That really is the best way, and bringing attention to, am I touching my face? One of the problems if lots of people who don't need face masks um, are using face masks or stockpiling them, it means that there aren't enough face masks available where they're really needed for people like healthcare workers who are on the front line and dealing with suspect or confirmed coronavirus cases. The vast majority of people are not susceptible to getting a severe infection. For most people, it will be a mild illness a bit like having a cold or a cough or the flu. It's the older people with comorbidities who are at risk, so you don't need to go and panic buy face masks.